Is that, is that going? Yeah, it's something. Yes, That's it is. Yeah, there's some news man right there. Yeah, the Planned Parenthood shit is going, it's huge right now. What's going on with Planned Parenthood? Oh, they're trying to pass a law so you can't protest Planned Parenthood no more. There's no, what, what, you got to be at, within though. a 15 foot radio. I heard him on the radio two days ago. Yeah, but what's going on is, um, are they about to shoot us? Uh, the, uh, they the got fetuses copies. and shit. And they throw them in the land, in the trash. Right. It's, yeah. They was finding human remains and fetus remains in the landfill. Mm -hmm. uh, that, what kind of? That's just nasty. Oh, boy, and they was cooking the fetuses first, then throw them in the landfill. That's that's fun. Hey, if you got to, you been out Speaking to the? Oh, we gotta stop up there one day. South side. No, uh, I don't. Uh, the main street on the east side by my place. You go up there every day. They've been out there for a month straight protesting for Planned Parenthood. Probably some kind of Christians. They post it up like they at least like ten deep every day, all day, nonstop. And you Benjamin Mike. What's up, man? So now nah, they get tired of people protesting Planned Parenthood. So they gonna make it. They're trying to pass laws so you can't protest. They gonna set up free speech zones. That's what, yeah. that's how they do it. Every time there's a major event, big protest, they set up free speech zones. But you know, this is supposed to be a free country. You're supposed to have freedom of speech. They're locking shit down, man. Man, it's just been locked down. You know? There was never no goddamn freedom. Hey, that's your just, dude's down there doing a report. Hey, no way free, huh? If you got millions of dollars, you got freedom. If you go to the courthouse, if you got money, you don't go to jail. You don't, you, you walk. You know what I'm saying? You can post bond, bail. Planned Parenthood filed a federal lawsuit Sunday against Richard Hodges, director of the Ohio Department of Health, asking the federal court to protect access to abortions in Ohio. The nonprofit agency lawsuit is a non-response to the Ohio Attorney General's press conference on Friday, where he stated that fetus tissue from Planned Parenthood centers in Ohio have been disposed of in a landfill in Kentucky. In the press conference, Ohio Attorney General in Mike Kentucky? Bond, yeah, they're shipping out of here. Oh, so they knew what they were doing. Of course. They, yeah. I thought they found it right here. They're all the way down in fucking Kentucky. That's nasty, Damn. man. So, hey. so some truck was transported in that shit. And they getting paid it's good a, money, too. It's a hazard material truck. I've seen it. Has been. They get paid good money, all them doctors. They living good. Yeah. And nothing is ever going to happen to them. Well, at least not until the most high comes and fucks their asses up. Yeah, because all these bitches, man, they go get it abortions. They go to the abortion every other week. You know, going to Planned Parenthood. And they get rewarded for it. So they get the club that Saturday night they get the team. Yeah, Saturday morning she's at the clinic, Saturday night she's at the club. Ain't they making a chip that makes it so a bitch don't get pregnant? Yeah, but they have microchip birth control pills. That's a foul ass fucking place, man. I kinda cheap. Um attorney Ohio attorney general. Mike DeWine called the disposal of humane like he got morals and said he would ask the court to approve the injunction of his Planned Parenthood. The lawsuit says Planned Parenthood handles medical tissue like other health care providers and that the recent attack from the state is an attempt to ban abortion. Yeah, because you know, it's such a horrible thing to try to ban abortion. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> but actually, maybe some of these people deserve to be aborted. Shit. Shit, they doing us a favor. Fucking people, man. This is crazy. Yeah, that's how they control the population. That's all part of homosexuality and abortion clinics is all part of uh, population control. Part of the agenda. And everyone it is just useless even. So they, they gotta get rid of it. Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty and the land was filled with them. Oh yeah, this is the story to Exodus. Because uh, what happened is when Joseph went to Egypt, Egypt became great, they became rich. And then after uh, Joseph died, 
you know, the Pharaoh put all the Israelites in slavery. And so the Israelites started to multiply so much that Pharaoh was like, we got to do something about this. They becoming too numerous. So they, they, the Pharaoh put out a plan to start killing the uh, killing all the male babies. And that's pretty much they doing the same thing in America, man. America is the, is the new Egypt. I mean, you look on the back of a dollar bill, it's an Egyptian pyramid. So go ahead with that. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and, and come, uh, and they come to pass that when they fall us out any war, they join also unto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them up out of the land. That's funny too. Uh, you know, everybody they suffer from Stockholm syndrome. And you know who, who's the main supporters of abortion is the the liberals, right? Democrats. And you know, it's how like most Jakes are fucking Democrats. Uh, the Democratic Party. That's like the party of abortion. That's one of their main. What's that called? I mean, one of their main doctrines is abortion. And almost all black people are Democrats. Almost all Mexicans are Democrats. Almost all Italians, Irish, Democrats. That's some sinister shit. They really got fucking shit out little chop shops on every corner. They got set up just chopping your ass up, cutting babies up, selling baby parts. They test baby fetuses in the soda flavoring. Yeah, that's what they said. That was. They, yeah, what does fetuses have to do with Pepsi? That don't make no sense. That's some sick, demented shit. It's down to a soda. You know, yeah. Like, you know, go down and fetch the taste buds. That's bugged out. It's only a scientist that's sitting in the laboratory. Fucking with a fetus. Breaking down the different, taking a fetus, cutting little pieces off. How, the main thing with fetuses is uh, at a certain time between in that nine month period when that bitch is pregnant, it's the early part of the pregnancy when a woman's, the, the fetus is producing a certain chemical in its body. And that's what they kind of try and key on. I can't remember what that chemical is called. I'm going to have to find out. Well, I know they use them for stem cell research, for stem cells. Mm -hmm. Now they can grow fetuses in laboratories. Ears, penises. Penises. All that shit. That's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, but I just read in the news the other day this dude that got his dick blown off in Afghanistan or something was getting a dick transplant. That's real real life. It really is. Could you, that, how weird would that be, man? You, like, this is not the way you... I'm trying to wonder if it's, 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 it's someone else's penis the one that grew. Yeah, I don't, that's weird. That's, that's some crazy shit. He's going to be jerking off somebody else's penis. Yeah, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> He was probably doing that anyway. <laughs> you know, you know, right, right, right. There's some bucks. There's some crazy times we're living in. Man, so crazy. Crazy. That shit. Then people can't. Yeah. Maybe I'll go shoot a porn. That's why people they ain't ready, man. You know what they said too? I, who was it that said it came out and said smartphones will be dead in five years? Did you hear about that? Because then I go need in another five years. Lord willing, we don't go that far. Oh, but they won't even need smartphones. Everything will be in that chip. They're going to put a chip in everybody. Yeah, that's tattoo that yeah, you have your Google glasses built into your brain. Yo, well, yeah, Google glasses is going to be a Google eye. You're going to have microchip in your brain. It's going, to attack, it's going to affect the functionality of your eyes. Your eyes will be able to zoom in on something, like a pair of electronic binoculars. You know like what I mean? Bionic man. Yeah, yeah, like a bionic man. man. There's a guy at my job named uh, Johnny Mnemonic. One of those wrist things. He get uh, it takes his heart rate. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. Those are fit watch. You're right. They they advertise that big time. Well, the chip will do that too. Your heart monitor your heart monitor. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Like what the um, fuck? I'm, damn, there's a big commercial on it. It's a yeah, huge commercial. Yeah, I, I think they're called fit watches. That's it. That's it. That's it. And it's had his heart rate up on there and everything. Mm -hmm. and shit. Yeah, when they, when they put that chip in everybody, they'll be able to give you all that information. They got the Nike watch that does way more shit than that. They bring everybody in. Everybody, everybody happy to come in. Yeah, because you know? it's, it's convenient, it's cool. Hey, you know, Mark, what it's cool. You know, it's cool. You know? It's trendy. That's not, uh, yeah. Yeah. Very trendy. 
Because this shit's all about, this system is all about control. It's all about keeping everybody in line, keeping everybody in check, mm -hmm. keeping all the slaves in order. This society is all about uh, keeping your ass in, in your place. Yeah, what's that movie? Uh, Insurgent. I mean, is it Insurgent? Uh -huh. Something like that? Or Diversion? I've heard about oh, it. Diversion. Yeah. Hey. I think the answer is the sequel, I think. I, I think it is. I watched the first one and then they was like... They was and like every last one of them got their phone out. It was, it that's was, how you be, that's <laughs> how you... Get them on camera, that's how you get social. That's being social now. Everybody's standing in the group with their phone. It's known, it's a fact, proven fact holding cell phones. Fucks up your posture and shit. You're constantly looking down, you're slouching. And, man, this shit is... This, tech, this man, is, his whole ideal is destructive, you know, to your health, to your mind. <laughs> Shit. Had a clown car? <laughs> they all the stuff in there. They're going to eat each other's coochie, out, sitting on top of each other. I hope y'all get pulled over. They're probably high on cocaine and all kinds of oh, shit. Hell, They're going to go shoot a porn whatever right now. Is, whatever drug they take in. They're sipping yeah, I'm on I'm kind of curious, man. We'd be blessed, man, if we could see what a motherfucker like LeBron James, what he carrying around or whatever, whatever, whatever he got, man. He got some crazy I shit. I know he got, yeah, yeah. Somebody like him, man. You know he keeps that little bag or whatever. He got the whole kit ready to go. <laughs> the <laughs> Illuminati right. kit. He don't go a day without it. <laughs> I mean, we, oh, man, we're going to see it, though, because they're going to be on they gonna be on TV advertising or whatever soon. Yep. They probably already made the commercial. They're just waiting for it to be released. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're getting paid through them endorsements and shit, you know? You think he's going to say no or going, here's here's a, here's fire a thousand up front cash, you know? Motherfucker's mouth is smiling. He thinking about them new rims he can go buy for That's all he care. He don't even care about championships. Mm -hmm. All he care about is that money. He just signed that's a it. lifetime that's deal it. with Nike. That's why he That's why he won the last couple He be years. throwing games. Mm -hmm. Man, LeBron be, I'm telling you, I, yeah, I know he had to lay down on some games. He'll just be passing the ball, won't even take shots, just pass it. It's like, come right, on, man. Right, right, right. Yeah, like fix his in. Just tell me he don't do that. He'll fix his in. He's up there, so he has to cooperate. He, he wants to cooperate. He was. Even last year during the finals, even the announcer was like, I know LeBron likes to share the ball, but damn. <laughs> yeah, right. Did somebody get that? Wow. What do you need? The market yeah, to be. Oh, he got it, man. Okay. Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And the image of the beast should both speak and cause them, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor. Wait a minute, it says he had power. Who the fuck is he then? You know? Yep. The devil don't exist, you know? <laughs> These people ain't worship the devil. Right, who is he? Who is he? They love the devil. You know? Got them international bankers, Rothschilds. I don't even want to mention other names. Just the, that's the main man. That's the main family. Yeah. Got them rat too. And these people, they don't know shit about them so-called Jews, man. They think they're all oh, those are good people, and they're a small community, and. <laughs> yeah, they, get, they got treated so badly by Hitler. Yeah, right, right, we just right. need to love them and get sympathy. They have anger. no idea that they're the biggest devil on the fucking planet. Yeah. The, big, the, the number anger. one, yeah. the number one manipulating, deceiving, evil person, evil people, man. They have some foul, disgusting people. They just evil. Just, uh, come on, you gotta be evil. You get to put an order out to your family is don't breed outside of our family. So. They want to make sure they keep coming back. If you Go have on. sex out of your race, you're a so-called Jew, uh, if you're an Edomite, if you have sex outside your family, they have a funeral for you. And they pronounce you dead, and they actually have a funeral for you. Why are you still, at you service. Still, you're still stepping around and yeah. shit? <laughs> they consider that's you the, dead. That's the, that's the devil's logic. You get cut off of your inheritance and everything. That's the devil's logic. The yep. Jew family I know, they he own half. Yeah, hell yeah. The yeah. Jew family I know, they own half of downtown, half of the city. Every last family member looks exactly the same. Of course they look the same, because they keep it in the family. Inbred. That's, Incest. That's why the, the royal family oh, England does that shit. You see what happened when Diana tried to divorce Charles? They took what her happened? Out. Ain't no more Diana. Took her out. Took that bitch out. Killed her. They, they, had her dirty they killed her at the 13th pillar. 
Yeah, I guess it was. She wanted to fuck. She was probably fucking right. I don't know. She was it was. Well, I think he was an error. I can't remember who she was fucking with. She was, she was a prince. And even though Prince Charles was still a homosexual, because there's many reports that said that Prince Charles likes dudes. Oh yeah. I've heard. I mean, eyewitness accounts have said this. People that worked with him in the in the palace, they came out and you know spilled the beans and said this guy's a faggot. They didn't even have to do that. You can just look at oh, yeah, him. Exactly. You just want to look at him. He's a big faggot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah everybody's fucking gay nowadays. Everybody, man. It's just... You gotta you gotta crawl up in a corner to escape him, man. Yeah. yeah. And crawl up and ball up in the ball, you know man. Saying? And cover up with blankets and shit. Like yeah. in a box. Hey, and you know, be real. Be real. real is a Jew. Oh, uh, no way. Yeah. Wait a minute, who? Be real. Oh wow. Yeah, that's Who's bugged that? out right there. Well, he's, he's definitely an Israelite, though. Like, uh, uh, Cypress Hill. Cypress yeah. Hill? You know B, bro. Oh, I thought. Insane in the membrane. Yeah. Well, he made good music, too. I thought, I thought you know, he he's was, a Jake. Uh, hey, yeah, the concerts yeah. used to be live as fuck. I don't hear Jake smoke that much weed. I've seen him on Facebook celebrating Hanukkah. What? I thought he was Issachar or something. He that's was, what I he thought. Was, he, was, he was Mexican. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Probably a mix or something. They go through the mom's side, you're a Jew. But a lot of those musicians do be so-called Jews, because that's the only way you can be an actor in Hollywood. Like, you see these dumbass bitches. They'll leave from Ohio, go out to L.A. thinking they're going to become a superstar. <laughs> but don't you know that, first of all, you got to be a so-called Jew to even get a job? You, you're lucky if you get a job out there and you're not a so-called Jew. And you probably had to do some nasty shit to get oh, that job. Man. The casting couch? Yeah, the casting oh. You don't even want to know about the casting couch. No thanks, count me out. I'd rather work at goddamn McDonald's than See, work, work for them. Holly Weird. Holly Weird. Holly Weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's exactly why they call it that. It's a bunch of fucking weirdos out there. I've been to Hollywood. Anybody that lived been to Hollywood, you walk down Hollywood Boulevard, it's just some weird ass shit, man. You thought this shit out here was freaky. Hollywood? Yeah, that's some wow. weird shit out there, man. Wow. <laughs> we got brothers who live in LA, they see it every day. It is one place all the time. LA? Just to see it, just out of curiosity. Maybe. It's kind of like Columbus, just a little bit. Everything's real spread out, real big. It ain't, you know what I mean? It's just real, everything's real spread out. Pollution like crazy out there. I don't know what's worse, New York or L.A. Remember we went to New York? I couldn't even breathe. Mm, it was stinking. All the fucking food was making me sick. Yeah, it's just, the whole place was just Remember I had the shit so oh, yeah. night when it was locked up? Oh, you ate that uh, sandwich that same day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bought it off the street. I knew better to eat from that place. Uh, <laughs> man, bro, had to, bro, bro, man had to eat, man. What did you get? Some roast beef <laughs> sandwich nah, or something? No, it was a chop. You're wrong. Remember? Man, you don't, you, stomach. you don't know what kind of meat that was. <laughs> I'm here. Now, that could have been in a big ass Everyone's super My route. system was like, uh, you got to get it out of here. <laughs> man, they got some big ass rats and <laughs> shit all night, man. <laughs> did y'all see that viral video on YouTube of that rat in New York City? Carrying a piece of pizza. Hell yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Yep. Carrying it. It's a famous video. It's a big ass hairy rat. Going up the big. steps. Yeah, going up the step or down. He's on steps with a big ass piece of pizza. Like oh. he had this. <laughs> oh, so them rats, they living good over there, man. Oh yeah. All the fucking trash sits on the curb. They don't even got dumpsters. Nope. <laughs> they just got pals of trash. And the filthy. dump truck comes by and picks this shit up off the curb. But that's supposed to be a, and they people wear shirts to say I love New York. <laughs> what the fuck is the love about that shit, man? There ain't nothing to love about that raggedy ass city. It's a big, it's a big stinking pile of shit. It really is. It really, really is. I mean, no exaggeration, man. Yeah, I mean it stinks, and it's a pile of shit. Now, this city ain't no different. This is a right up there with it. Yeah. Remember when we walked through Green Bridge Village? Is that yeah, what it was called? Uh, all them faggots. We didn't know where, where he's at. <laughs> it was like a fucking trillion transvestites walking the street. He was just stepping, getting around. You get aged just by breathing the air. <laughs> we were still cursing them out. We was outnumbered 50 to 1. Yeah, man. Fucking New York got all type of fucking 
different mixture of shit. Oh shit, hey, we never, let's go back to that market of peace. We never got that out, dude. Getting all trash. Because, oh, oh, small and great, rich and poor, green and brown. Receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead. So soon, yeah, they're gonna put a mark in your right hand or in your forehead. That's that microchip. Keep going. And that no man might buy or sell save he that hath marked or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of they're a not, man. They're not microchips, they're cell phones. <laughs> That's well, what I believe. Similar. I mean, that's, that's the precursor to it. I believe that. But soon they're going to mix uh, man with machine. It's called transhumanism. Soon, if you don't have a internet, you won't be able to do anything, right? Yeah. yeah. Soon they're going to connect everyone's brains to the internet. Hey, hey, this is real, man. It's yeah. going to get to a point where it's you ain't going to have a choice but either get it or die, you know? That's where, that's, where they, that's where they're going with all this, man. But they're real subtle about it. Like, yeah, like, right, right, subtle. You know? So like, everybody has a fun with well, us. Everybody does. Yeah, you everybody. see what I got in my hand? <laughs> they tracking you 24-7 with that. <laughs> that's right, that's right. It leads right up with the satellites. When I'm not here doing this, I don't, and I'm out and about, grocery store, whatever, I don't even carry a cell phone. I don't carry shit on me, man. You know, I, I, I carry mine. I try not to. I don't. I don't need you know, to. Do you know all? What you new, need to for you know? <laughs> all new cars now. There's a the government already passed a law years ago. All new cars are built with a black box in it that right. tracks your every move. The cops can just turn your car off while you're driving. Yeah, that's like eight nine years old. And now if for the older cars, insurance companies are making you put this little black device in your car. Tracking. Yeah. A, track, a tracking device. Yeah, they've been doing that because you go buy a used car from a used car, buy a pay here, buy buy here pay here. They, it's mandatory now. They have to put them in there. Yep, they all got them. Yep. 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 Well, I just heard you say that when I walked by, and I always thought that. The I mean, of course, that's like, part of it. Yeah, I mean, part of it, right? the, the driver's license, the ID, that's part of it. They said that you're no longer a person, you're a number. You're just a number in a computer. Shit, the, all your bank cards have RFID chips in them now, microchips yeah. right uh, on them. You can see it right there on the top. Yeah. I got mine right yeah. here. You sure can, man. Oh, I ain't gonna put it on you camera. Your name and number up, man. Well, yeah, you don't want to put it on. You know, I, you know, it might cool, put a signal out and somebody thing. take my signal from they can it. Just, they can look that shit up. Yeah, but this is, it, it's kind of beautiful in a way. Because what it's gonna come down to is gonna, it's, it's just gonna create, uh, it's, it's gonna add yeah, on to a civil war, man. Not just these motherfuckers going after the weapons and guns. Man, that's, it's just, yeah, it's all thing. going, it's, it's all this oppression just gonna make the people just, yeah. you know, break it, man. Break loose, man. Just, just lose it. That's why the government keeps staging all these shootings. All by design. Oh, you all know, by you design. know that shooting that just happened at, where was that, in uh, Oregon? California. Or, no, California, California San State. Bernardino. Yeah, yeah. Like all, there was many eyewitness people who was there on the scene that said it was three white men wearing tactical gear to shot all those people. What do you see on the news? Muslim, 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 Muslim. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, hey, I ain't filming for him. You remember the Batman the shooting? Muslims, you remember the Batman <laughs> shooting? Yeah. The Batman shooting, the same thing happened. They said it was two people kicked the door in. Big at heart of uh, one-way door. You know how movie theaters, they got the door that only opened the exit door, only goes one way. So that takes a bad dude to kick that in. But they said it was two dudes wearing military tactical gear that came in and did it, but then they arrested some weirdo with pink hair. Right, because witnesses, man, they, it's easy to shut them up. Yeah. Or just keep them suppressed. They ain't going to Oh, they'll the say, media. oh, they was in a state of panic. They mm -hmm. didn't know what they actually saw. Yeah, that's the main thing they say a That's lot. what they say. State of panic. Just a state of panic. So when you're in a state of shock, you don't know really what's going on. Now, you telling me if I see a motherfucker getting shot up that building right now, I'm, I'm fucked up. I can't judge it correctly. And I'm way over here looking like, damn, wow. What well, if somebody shot your brother? <laughs> you ain't going to forget that face. Right. Damn right. You know, it's going to be glued to your mind. It's going to be man. glued to your mind. Yep. You will never forget that face. That's right. That's right. That's right. I saw somebody get hit by a car about two months ago right down here. Right. And, and you just remember it like it was just, it's just yeah. like, you get it over and over. Yeah. When, um, on Summit, I saw a dude running the red lights on a motorcycle, and he wasn't even trying to stop. He wasn't, you know, be, you can see the brake lights if you hit the brake. Yeah. This motherfucker was running red lights, and I was trying to follow him just to see what was going to happen. And finally, this dude pulled out, hit the bike, man. And, oh, shit. oh, my God. When I walked up, I was like, I ain't going up, man. I ain't getting out and look at that motherfucker. And I was working at Grand Hospital at the time on the trauma floor. I was like, I'm not getting out to look at it. I said, fuck it. I just got out, man. Half his head was gone. Oh. You know, I, I was looking at the brain. Oh, I still remember oh. it, man. 
every piece. Still everything, yeah. man. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, let's see that. You ain't want to just forget that like that. <laughs> you just can't, man. You, know you guys have to get Okay, man. Okay. Right, okay. Yeah. This is going to be beautiful, man, when this shit pop off, man. Like, even, it's even what we stuff, for. like, even, like, you know what I mean? We don't be phased by looking at gruesome stuff. Right. It's still, you're still going to remember it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Man, I put my bike up for like a month, man. I could not get on it after that. Oh, thing. fuck. I just couldn't get on it, man. I was starting the bike in the garage, just starting looking at the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like it was traumatized for Yeah, I was, I was, man. I couldn't sleep for like a, I literally couldn't sleep correct for like a week. You know? Shit, I've seen a video dude got cut in half on his bike. God damn. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But motherfuckers on bikes be getting fucked up. Dude just got fucked up around here somewhere yesterday on a bike. I hear about man. it all the time. That's why you don't see me with no bike, boy. Yeah, you, 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 your life is threatened in, in walking. No, you ain't lying. With these people, man. That's why if I ride my shit. bicycle, I'm on the sidewalk. Your bicycle. Oh, yeah, yeah. They don't man, give a fuck. I ride my bike in the street and make them go around. If you ride your bike on the sidewalk, the faggot ass cops will actually give you a ticket. They will. They give. They will give you a ticket. That's all. Man, you got to worry about these people. These, these, uh... Mostly on the way up here, bitch. Sides, almost sides. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we yeah. look over, she on Facebook. Right. You call them dope head, computer surfing driver. Yeah. Driver. It's always the women, too. <laughs> And they be on them computers too. Like, damn. There's a fag ass cop. They be right in there. the fast lane on the freeway floating on the computer. Like, right. <laughs> in, the, in the fast lane, man. Yeah, that's almost as stupid as reading a book while driving. Let's <laughs> just read a book and drive. That's a dumbass person. These dumb people, these stupid, man. They don't even realize they behind a deadly, a, a, a deadly contraption yep. that takes lives, many lives, easily. Just like that bitch in, um, that was killed to run the motherfuckers over in the parade. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was that parade, man? Thanksgiving? Was it Oklahoma or something? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Thanksgiving parade. Yeah, it was Thanksgiving. She plowed a bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah, she just rode right through the crowd. <laughs> in the car? Yeah. In the car. This is just like a few weeks ago. Yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> she went hard with her shit, bro. Oh, she plowed right like, out of nowhere. Like, her yeah, out of nowhere. Like, they just, they just having a good time. Yep. Oh, yep. man. See? Plowed them, man. This one, this one. Hey, their joy was turned to sorrow. <laughs> That's right. That's what I'm saying, man. There's some, there's some spirits out there, boy. We're going on type of shit. And that Christmas spirit is rousing up, too. That motherfucker's burning already. Under the Christmas trees and shit, man. It's starting early. This man, shit. I hope Russia attacks during Christmas. Oh, man. Oh, man. Something, going, something big coming. It's probably why they oh, keep yeah. in the weather nice. Coming. You see, a, a Russia just shot at a Turkey, Turkish ship? Yeah. Was that a today? fishing boat? Yeah. Fishing boat. Was that what it was? A fishing boat? The fishing boat was tough. It's the, when it you read it, it's right like the it. fishing boat was like it trying to provoke. After, it was provoking yeah. them. You know? Well, you know it was a government that's sitting there fishing boat. This after the jet. Yeah, that yeah, happened two, yesterday. yesterday. Oh, yesterday. Alex yeah. Jones is yeah. making emergency videos every day now. Man, keep <laughs> fucking with them Russians, Alex man. Jones, the Russians man. trying to be, as much as Esau, you know, he's a goddamn devil, but he's trying to be peaceful with his brothers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's his brothers, man. You yeah, know, right, yeah. them Turks, man. Turks them are Turks. Edomites. Yeah, that's right. Them Turks is Edom. Them, that's his brothers, man. They don't want. They they uh, conquered our fucking uh, our hometown, Constantinople. Constantinople. Yeah. That's our yeah. shit. That's right. That was a glass great kingdom that was on this earth. Yep, yep. Was was Constantinople. Yep. But they changed that shit to Turkey. <laughs> they changed it to uh, Istanbul. Istanbul, Turkey. Yeah, that's right. Istanbul, you got, Turkey. You got me. You got me. You got me. Yeah. You got me. <laughs> Istanbul, because that's where uh, the Russians go through Istanbul. Yep. That's right. Where they well, right. Through. That's the main. <laughs> that, that's the main spot. That's one of the top trading. spots. Uh, ship ports in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got control. What are they called? Uh, busy, busy. The Bosphorus. That little strait that connects the Mediterranean to the to the Black, Black Sea. sea yeah. uh, that's called uh, the Dardanelles. How, a, how do you say it's that? It's a busy. It's like a it's highway. Yeah. It's a busy yeah. ass highway. In the, in the ancient world, the, uh, the Byzantines they had <laughs> they they controlled that shit. They had gigantic fucking chains this fucking big Ooh. that they, they would pull and would block ships from Damn. coming through. They had some bad Damn. shit. Mm. Woo, that's crazy. And go and stop them Russians from going. You know, they, man, they have to go through there. Man, them Russians are nuclear. They have vaporized your ass. And dude got there. some photo on the internet when dude holding that uh that that missile launcher on his shoulder. He's right there standing on top of. Personally, I don't, I don't think he was really. That's funny. Vocal. You know where the royal family too of Russia came from? Was they that they fled a lot of the royalty 
that was in Russia fled from Constantinople when they got sacked. A lot of <laughs> a lot of the uh, Romans, I don't know what you call them, because that was Rome, but they fled up to uh, Moscow and up there. Here right goes there. that nine foot right Edomite. Right there. Oh, you you ain't some shit too. Yeah. That's George Murjan. Hey, did you know that you know the dome on the rock? The temple in Jerusalem that the Muslims got with the gold cap on it? The dome of the rock. That was made by uh, Byzantium metal workers. Damn. It wasn't even Muslims that made it. <laughs> wow. The dome of the rock. Made out of pure gold. Man. We're going to just, well, the Lord's going to destroy that shit. Down there smoking some chronic. You smell that? Smell like some fucking. God damn! <laughs> I don't smell nothing. smoking a blunt. Uh, I still smell it. Nah, I'm smelling pork. <laughs> oh, that weed smell like pork sometimes. God, I smell that shit now. Yeah, we do smell like pork sometimes. Certain types of weed. I might smell it at my dude's house either. They, all, they smoke blunts all day long. You go in there in the house and smell like Maybe burning like seeds. Oh, yeah, <laughs> burning seeds. <laughs> There's nothing worse than trying to cover up a funky smell of incense. That's when you go up in them, them carry outs, the little, them little Arab stores. They got rotten fish and pork. Mm, mm. They're trying to sell you. Mm, yo, yo, yo. And they didn't think they don't even eat this shit themselves. Those niggas yeah, go eat. right up in that bitch and buy it up, feed their children, man. All that rotten food, man. Motherfuckers are good with from Muslims. They ain't supposed to be selling uh, yeah. beer and shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, they don't drink beer, but they'll sell it, huh? Should they sell pepperoni pizzas up in their store? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They sell everything. Yeah, yeah. But you ask them if they eat it, like, oh. <laughs> right, right. They laugh hey, the at Jews you. do the same thing. They, bo they both know it's no goddamn good, but they'll still sell it to you. Yeah, what kind of holy people are they? Should they don't eat it, but they touch it with their hands. You don't see nowhere in the Bible that Israelites are selling pork to, uh, yeah. It's okay, it's, you know, to sell pork, you know. And they ain't nothing, nowhere in the Bible, man, sell rotten meat. I want to get a what is the one scripture that says they hide behind the pillars with their pork? Or the swines, eat chewing on swine's flesh? That's Isaiah 66. Yes, yeah, that's just disgusting. But that whole pork thing, you tell motherfuckers over and over again, stop eating pork, man. They, they just can't give it up. I know they baking some bacon back in the oven. I'm like, man, I fucking hate bacon. He was like, you're not my friend no more. <laughs> <laughs> Never was your friend. Yeah, if you talk shit specifically about bacon, then that it, you really piss people off. Yeah, like, yeah, it's like a broken record. Like they that. Just ate some. <laughs> I went to Arby's and told them I wanted a turkey club sandwich without the bacon. And they slopped it the fuck down. <laughs> That's fucked up. I man. mean, mm. like that shit was slopped down. Damn. I would have took my shit back. Like, like I done, like I offended him for saying I ain't want no. He's like, well, take this motherfucker <laughs> and start slopping my, you, slopping but, my yeah, shit down. Yeah, you fucking Muslim motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, cause now. I'll, you watch the news, that's all they fucking talk about, some goddamn Muslims, 24-7. You must be Muslim. Yeah, so now you, and now if you say anything about pork, oh, you're definitely a Muslim now. <laughs> that could have yeah. shown you that's some propaganda. That's propaganda, because the Jews don't eat that shit either. How right. can they don't ever get on them for it? You know, fucking faggots, man. This faggot ass shit going on there. I know a lot of Jews that eat pork. Yeah. They they hide it. They do it behind closed doors. They do it behind closed doors. Man, we, we got a lot of... They're heathens. Now, when did, since when did the heathens become so fucking, uh, uh, oh, yeah. you know, righteous, doing righteous acts and shit? The scripture says mean? the Gentiles know not God. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. What's that, Galatians? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we should get that. I'll get it. I got a preset for that, too.
Yeah, but doing anything the Bible says is totally out of the question for most of these people. They view the Bible as something ancient, archaic, <laughs> done away with, outdated. Oh, yeah, but it, well, the Egyptians were aliens built the pyramids, though, so. But it's cool to like Egypt and worship cats and bulls. <laughs> they full of shit, too, because they don't even. Men do all that shit for oh, real life. Shit. They want to acknowledge that and be all trying to study that history, but yeah. they really don't follow the customs I, of that shit. Right, I never seen nobody become an expert at mummification. <laughs> not, not a single one of them. They ain't mummified nobody. Nothing. I bet Polite has never mummified nobody. Nope. All them I Egyptologists on YouTube, I guarantee you, they never mummified their cat. Right. They, you know what I'm saying? They didn't marry their sister. But to be a true Egyptian, you gotta marry your sister. Ooh, man. Oh, right? Man. That's part of their customs. Yeah. Oh. That's, that's, that's a why, nasty hug. That's why a lot of them was all fucked up. Before and shit. All that incest. Yeah, that's true. That's why Akhenaten, they got proof that Akhenaten had in his son, King Tut, Tukhenaten, Hopin, Hopin. What's two, how you say King Touch now? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. They I said cannot. they got proof that he was born out of incest and they all had uh, genetic deformities because they was their, their mom, his mom and dad were brother and sister. <laughs> and, and their mom and dad was brother and sister and their mom and dad was brother and sister. That, that you... Yeah, and uh, them niggas ain't doing none of that. Yeah, no, true. no. They were true Egyptians. I'm gonna you, put it past them. Though. You know the Egyptians also had a, a holiday where they would all sacrifice pigs to Osiris and they eat swine's flesh. Oh, but a lot of Egyptologists, who, well, the people who believe in that Egypt shit, they try to say the Egyptians didn't eat swine's flesh. And that's a lie. They did eat it in honor of Osiris. Yeah, that, that shit's saying... That's madness. I'm talking about my calm women, they're queens and all this crazy shit. Man, that's just some shit you say when you try to get some pussy, man. Oh, you my queen, baby. <laughs> you the mother earth, baby. A bitch will believe anything. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is just say some nice words to her and you in there. This motherfucking Egypt nigga try to say King David is gay because he said, I love, well not King David. Yeah, he'll say, say King David was gay because he loves uh, Jonathan yeah. more than he loved men. They, they were best friends. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why I loved him. They never said that's gay. <laughs> trying to hey. find, like they... They just looking for gay shit. Yeah, they're looking for... <laughs> they, what's they call that? That's that, that they... <laughs> The gay confirmation bias. <laughs> yep, ways to justify it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I done heard, you know what I'm saying, like... Don't say Jesus Aaron. was yeah, gay. Yeah. Because John sat in his bosom. <laughs> man, we done heard it all, man. Like, we don't know about your stupid-ass theories. We done heard all that crazy it's shit. Unix, they say Unix. They chopped the dicks off. Whatever bullshit. They chopped it. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, that was like, out. Yeah, then like the Chinese started with the chocolate dicks or not the Israelites. I'm sure Israel. the Canaanites did. But there's laws in the Bible that says you're not allowed to make any markings on your flesh. Now, cutting your flesh, you're not supposed to defile your body. So there was no Israelite eunuchs unless he was following the ways of the Canaanites or someone to chop his dick and nuts off. I bet they was doing that in Solomon and Gomorrah. I know that dude well, from the Wu Tang clan chopped his dick off and jumped out the window. Oh, shit. That's crazy. <laughs> he said he was studying ancient eunuchs and shit. He was studying about eunuchs. He was studying ancient history. It was some lesser known Wu Tang guy. I think somebody said it was dude from Killer Army. I'm not really sure. But he chopped his dick off and jumped out the window. See, they had a one of a kind album for a million dollars. Tried to, he failed. Oh, damn. Cut his dick off. Man, what kind of crazy, bugged out shit is that? Right, right. Well, that's where the Wu Tang philosophy gets you. Following after them heathens. <laughs> First Thessalonians four and five. Um, not in the lust of conspicuous, conspicuous, 
princes, even as the Gentiles which know not the Most High. The Gentiles which know not the Most High. So the Gentiles don't know the Most High. At all. Only Israel knows the Most High. Right. And this Gentile is referring to Israelites. I mean, well, you know. Because Israel scattered among all these heathens. That's right. There's a big difference. But that's something, you know, the average person just ain't going to understand. So. It ain't for everybody to understand. That's why they look at you sideways, huh? Yeah. Huh? 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 They don't understand. The scriptures on the heathen, when it's referring to Israel, and then there's some that refer to other nations. <laughs> Where that dude, he's at, he's downtown, I call that dude a heathen. He's like, you call me a fucking heathen? <laughs> dude, he's ready to fight me. I got a scripture to the precept. Uh, this is 2nd uh, Ezra 3 and 36. Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts. Oh, so and that Israel here by, uh, by name is the, uh, the elect. That's us. That's holding his precepts. But yeah, you, know, you, you won't see Israel. You won't see the, uh, the other Israelites holding these precepts, practicing righteous acts. You know they don't even they don't even proclaim the uh, those fake Jews today. They limit Israel today. Those they're, they're imposters, but they don't never they don't even say the God's name. Mm -hmm. They'll say Hashem, which means the name, because they did because the scriptures say you're supposed to proclaim that name, right? You're supposed to say it. But you, you know they actually teach that if you say the name, you're worthy of like damnation. Yeah. Well, I, I, I was reading that, that. I can believe that. In that book you gave me, I still got it at the house. Uh, the, one uh, of the Jews. That Jew, but it was written by a Jew. Right. And they said one, one of the worst things you can do is to pronounce that name. Wow. Yeah. Well, because they, they teach them the name, but I guess they're not allowed to say it. Well, For here it them, is. I guess. Here it is. Oh, you got. You want to finish that first? Yeah, What's the name of that? The opium. Uh, how to eliminate the opiate or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. And that was written by a Jew, and they said one of the worst things you can do in so-called Judaism is to say that name. You will get excommunicated. That's right. I got that scripture in there too. So you want to finish that though? Uh, Second Ezra three and thirty-six. Thou shalt find that Israel by name hath kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. Yeah, they, <laughs> Look at your dude's shirt. He got the old seeing eye real big on his shirt. But well, they think that shit's cool. They think he's with the Illuminati. He's gonna get some benefits. No, that one on Look at his fucking pants. He's wearing the MC rates. Hammer pants. He, he got the Illuminati symbol on his shirt. Boy, oh, Stitches, little brother. Hey, you know Stitches is a Jew. He's a Jew? Yeah. Come on now, rapper from Miami. He, he, he got his ass beat by his own crew. Yeah, I heard, yeah. He got knocked out by game's manager, I seen And that. then the game paid his yeah, own I homies to beat his ass. Until yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I was looking through YouTube I and I seen related know. videos or something. It was I clicked a, on it. I was like, who's this guy's from Miami or something like I that? I thought it was funny seeing him get knocked out. He got, it was he got videos yeah. with him holding AKs and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I seen that, yeah. yeah. He got, he got he knocked like, out with he, one punch. Yeah, he got dropped. Yeah, he was like, "Don't play with me, boy." Guy, too. I never watched the video. I never. See, that's what happens. I don't know who the motherfucker is, so I didn't watch him. Yeah, yeah. he's got fucking stitches tattooed across his lips. He got an AK-47 tattooed he, he on his face. He deserves to get his ass beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's bugged out. He got some what shit? He got yeah, he got some shit like yeah, stitches. Yeah. <laughs> if you get <laughs> shit all tattooed stitches. on your face and shit all crazy, you gone. Yeah, dude, yeah, you fucking he's... fool. Get a cross right there in the middle of your forehead. His own homies beat the shit out of him. He was like, I'm about to blow up Pac like Pac did now. After yeah. he got his ass beat. Yeah, dude, dude's fucked out. Stupid. Stupid. Here's Malachi uh, 1 and 14. But the curse is be, but cursed be the deceiver who hath in his flock a male, and vowed and sacrificed unto the Lord a corrupt thing. For I am a great king, said the Lord of hosts. And my name is dreadful among the heathen. Oh, it's, the Lord said his name is dreadful among the heathen. <laughs> so that's more proof that those so-called Jews in Israel today, they're not, they're not the real Jews, they're heathens. Mm -hmm. Because the real Israelites, they would say the name. They would proclaim it. Shit, that's their enemy. They better fear the name. Shit. They know what their name represent. Represent them going back into captivity. Yeah, that's why they don't want to say it. They don't, they don't want right. that name to get out there. You know? They think they can stop it. You know? 
That's why it don't matter. We get any Jew out here. We've talked to many of these devils already, right? And the same thing happens. We be like, say the name. <laughs> we dare you. Better. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Never Who not it? once they, have they, they said it. They will not yeah. say it. And they, they, you know they know that name. Yeah. And they will not say it. I remember, I remember a good three of them. That was, they was what the name. fuck is that what? smell? It's just one saying. You smell that? It smells like that, antifreeze that, that, that's or something. That's a spiritual thing. It just shows you yeah, some type of your how about him, your how shine's real. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's exists. Right now he's he's conscious, he's and you can doing see, what he does. And you know? every time you ask, they'll put their head down and like that I'm name. Not, no, I'm not saying that. That name. They're, they're like really scared to say. Now you knock a motherfucker out and your boys that know you and him, they around each other, they mention they want to talk to, to the motherfucker that got knocked out. Remember that dude knocking out? You don't even want to talk about it, nah, man. You don't, want to yeah, yeah. you don't even want to talk about it, don't you know? <laughs> His spirit yeah. fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, man. Shit. At least they, at least, at least they, I guess they, at least they know that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, but I, I think I better not say it. Fuck these heathen, man. Fuck them. Fuck them all. Here you go. This is Psalms 102 and 15. Ugh. Uh, so the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and all the kings of the earth thy glory. That was it on that. It's a small quick songs preset. Fuck these other nations, man. And they gonna fear us too, cause we're gonna we're gonna beat that fear into them when that time comes. Right now yep. they don't give a fuck, man. Well they right now they us, man. right now they locking us up, mm -hmm. throwing us in jail, oppressing the shit out of us. So what do you think is going to happen to them? Doing what they're supposed to do. Double. Double. Yeah. <laughs> Double. 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 Hey, deadline for your health insurance is coming up. Uh, oh, yeah. That, that fine is what? Like $500 to $800? I think it's 250 this year. Nah, is it? Really? Well, it's still going to be... Uh, the motherfuckers, they, 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 uh, they depend on that money, man, to buy that, 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 that half ounce of weed that... That half pound, quarter pound of weed or whatever the fuck they buy. Go buy their big screen that's TV. that's what they do when they get their income tax, man. They look forward to it. So they gonna waste it. Yep, the, the baby daddy just popped up on the scene because you know that income tax money coming around. Gets in her head, man, I can blow up, I can help you. I can help you pay your child, I can pay my child, I can take care of my child. You just give me some of that money, I can go sell some weed or- That's dope. what the yeah, fucking every... burning smell was. Oh shit, it was burning your pocket. I can go sell that dope, baby, and take care of our, our child. Oh, shit, like... Oh, that's just crazy. Yeah, my, yeah everybody kid. always, they always go waste all that money. As soon as they get that big check, gone in one day. Gone. Too much of dumbass fuck. fucking heathens, man. That goes in effect this year, well, 2016. It goes in effect, Carmen. They don't that's going to be beautiful, man. They don't, they don't know how to get nothing they need. Don't know mm -hmm. how to... Yeah, well, just put the money up. God damn. <laughs> Shit. You don't know your ass ain't gonna be able to pay rent next month. <laughs> be moving all over the place. They just move family members in to help them catch up. That's how they do it. That's their time to shine. That's huge right now, too, man. Family moving in with family and shit. I can understand if you have to, man, but goddamn. These motherfuckers do it because they fucking up. They in and out the clubs. Yeah. Wasting all their money on yep. weed. And still end up getting evicted or what the fuck ever, you know? Still end up happening. Come on, bus. Damn, ain't nobody over. That's just expensive. Getting high and drunk every day, that's fucking expensive. Man, so I ride by my dukes every day, man. Just going to grocery or whatever. No, and they got an outdoor patio where they smoke at and shit. And that bar, man, the club, where the fuck it is, from the, from the time it's open to close, there's people in that patio drinking and smoking. Well, the drink, how much does drinking cost at a bar? Yeah, and it's always the same faces. Always the same niggas on that party on a few women, you know, a few bitches, man. Always the same. I think one. the last bar I went to, like a, a a Jack and Coke, was like six dollars. Oh yeah, man. yeah. Woo. I wanted a, yeah, some, the martinis, uh, vodka the martinis and cranberry. That shit was like five something. Yeah, it's ridiculous, yeah. man. Hey, don't go to Easton. Uh -huh. You're gonna be paying a lot more. I ain't never going to Easton. You're gonna pay a lot more. I feel out of place as soon as I, I drive through that place. <laughs> I feel dirty when I pull That's up. That's Esau up in there. And it's all Esau up through there. And they, 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 that motherfucker clean up there too. Yeah, you go up in there. Yeah, it sure is. They be looking at me like I like they look at my shoes. They, look at, me place. Like, yeah, they yeah. look at me like I'm a filthy peasant. You're out of place. You know? 
Yeah, that's all East Soul up in that bitch. I mean, last time I went to Easton, I seen uh, uh what's that? I seen that bitch from ABC News walking around. Oh, yeah. Yolanda Harris. I ain't never been to Easton. Light skin of books. Yeah, she look good too. She was looking good in real life too, boy. You know, I wonder what kind of match six shit she had to do. Oh! I can imagine that scat video. <laughs> I can imagine. You know they doing nasty shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell no. Just cause you don't see it in public and, and out in the open. Them motherfuckers doing all kinds of nasty shit. They're all a bunch of liars. Hey, get on the, uh, get on YouTube and type in proof the news is fake or something like that. There's been a lot of videos coming out lately and how a lot of people on YouTube are editing videos and they showing you how all these local news stations are, are saying the exact same words. No, look up uh, the news is scripted. Wow. Look, the, look that up on YouTube. Well, check it out. Like, when we left Cramp one day, we ran into the news motherfucker down the street. And we asked him, what was you out here? What you out here recording? Dude was like, I'm just out here recording. Yeah. I'm just out here recording. Just random shit. Getting paid to You know, hoping to see something. <laughs> but out there, we're just recording, man. It be rolling. Oh, we vexed the that. shit out of his ass, too. That was years ago, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we vexed the shit out of him. <laughs> Remember, he got up and got, he got a bottle. That man ain't gonna put us on the news. That he saw us, he saw us, uh, oh, <laughs> ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> That's the BT-5-250, <laughs> BT-250 awesome. model. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm doing great. You believe in the Bible? Yes, I do. You know the Lord's a black man? I you know, don't know that. You know his name's not Jesus? Well, that's his name in the Gentile language. Yeah, you can say that again. Okay. <laughs> you can that's say true. that That's what we just we said. That's spiritual, ain't it? Okay, we gotta tell the truth. So what's God's name? What's his name? Which one? The Almighty God. The Heavenly Father. Heavenly the Heavenly Father. Father or the Son? The Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Ancient Hebrew. Oh, okay. Yahweh. <laughs> now if I talk Benny. Hey, Benny. 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 That ain't your name, right? That ain't okay. your name, right? The Lord wanted to be called his wife, his wife's your name. Not Yahweh. <laughs> It ain't Jehovah. The BT 250 model. That, the battery should have been ran out on that one. <laughs> oh, shit. That was the prototype. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody get off the back. Bruce Lee getting off the bus. What's going to be the heavenly language? Hebrew. Okay. What's that, Acts 26? So, what tribe are you? Well, we all different tribes. All of us different tribes. What tribe are you? You know a tribe? Tribe? Yeah, tribe, we know. Tribe. We know. We, we know could guess. You know. Which tribe are you? Judah. You a Judah? Abraham. <laughs> you a Judah? We all Abraham. All of us Abraham. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. No, we don't we don't all come from the royal tribe of Judah. All right. You That's correct. From the royal. You right, you right. From the royal tribe. <laughs> she said the royal tribe. <laughs> yeah, we are definitely royal. Hey, there you go. She was. She has to apologize. <laughs> like, how the fuck were you supposed to know what tribe we are? <laughs> yeah. No, actually, ultimately, <laughs> no, nobody knows nothing. Yeah, you know, all you, all you know is the spirit. Yeah, the spirit works. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, it's proof the spirit works. Right. That's proof the spirit is a living thing. Cause, you know, you, you can, you do. Yeah, yeah, but. But you can't physically go back. Nah. Like there's just a scripture that say don't go back and talk about genealogy shit. Okay. Um, is, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. is it Titus? It's two of them, Titus and Timothy. Okay. Get either one of them. <laughs> but anyway, you can't go back and get birth records. You got that? Or you can't go get birth certificates from your great 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 grandfather. You there, know? There's not a single person on this planet. Esau, baby. I don't think he because Esau went through a period of slavery too. Yeah, yeah. But we kept the records of him too. We had all that that would be like Israel to keep but the record. Yeah, that's Israel for your ass. Israel would even yeah, that's dude, Israel. helping the devil out. Yeah, yeah. But you, you're right though. He, yeah. he saw, but fuck Esau. Who cares whether he knows or not? Yeah, it really don't matter. You know, he can go back and far. Yeah, he can go back farther than us. Yeah, but a lot farther. Hey, none of us can. I can't even go. <laughs> They say, uh, I can't even go back at night. I can't even go back to the last century. I can only go back two mm -hmm. generations. Mm -hmm. That's all I know. Two yep. generations. I know my great grandfather. That's it. Yep. 
I don't know who my great great grandfather. I didn't. Was. My dad's side. I didn't know my great grandfather. I knew my grandfather. That was it. Nobody in my family knows either. Yeah. My, my grandfather, my dad's dad. If you ever knew, seen Howlin' Wolf, that was the twin. Who? Howlin' Wolf. Oh, Howlin' Wolf. The blues. Oh, yeah. so my dad was just paying like money to Ancestry.com like to try to That's figure that shit out. That's just a scam, man. It's just a scam. Mm -hmm. I bet. I bet it. Even though DNA tests are scams. Oh yeah, they just started the DNA oh, test. I think they're just using that to get a database on people. Thank you. Control. Oh, yeah. Well, I heard they take a D they take DNA samples of your babies when they're born now. As soon as they're born, they take a sample of their DNA. Damn. Don't even tell you about it. Doing record. I'm number one shit too. Like, yeah, but it's record. Uh, you're eight percent this. Well, did but that tells you how. What is that? The arm? Your arm? <laughs> Plus, they give them a number. As soon as they're born, they number you. Like it's like cattle. You number cattle. You number. You don't. When you got a herd of cattle, you don't go each name each one of them a name. This one's Rex, and this one's Rex uh, this Tex. One's yeah, te yeah, Paulie. This is Paul. No, man. You, you brand them. You put your brand on them as fast as efficiently as yeah, possible. Yeah, they do. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so that's, that's what they do to us. Uh, the, iron, the iron brand. Yeah. You never see the same motherfuckers the same social security. Man. Nope. So yeah, as soon as you're born, and then when you're born, why do you get a certificate? How, how does that change anything? It's like I'm born. Why do I need to be like this? Is it's like when you go to the store and you buy beef, it's like this is certified. This, this is beef is certified. It does say on the birth It says certified. It's a certification. They certifying that you was born and processed. You you've been processed. You know what I mean? You'll see you be born outside of a hospital and you don't get processed. Then, you, uh, you go to jail. Then Plato, uh, yeah, Plato wanted some shit like that, the state pretty much. Yeah, the state wanted, the Plato said that in the ideal world, no child would know who their mother and father was and that the children would be raised by the state. That's Plato and at these universities, Plato's their number one guy. Plato and Aristotle, that's their top guys. Mm. 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 Let me read this real quick. Titus 3 and 9. But avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. Right, so if somebody comes up, they're like, you ain't no Israelite. Let me see your papers. Who's your grandfather? Was you born in Israel? Yeah, was you born in Israel? Yeah. That's the number one deal. Right. Yeah, was, you, <laughs> was you born in Israel? Nope. Nope, nigga. So who, what would you say? I was, no, I was born in space. Then what? <laughs> right, right, right. Space and light. <laughs> space and ease. <laughs> hey, we was born in space. Where's that Our, other one at, though? Anybody know where that other one is? There's one in Timothy. All right, because you got... You I do think, got... Uh, uh, where you got one? Okay. Hosea 7 and 8. Ephraim, we have mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake, not turn. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's why they all yellow and shit. Those they, they, ISIS. They, they, a lot of them yellow. Ephraimites think they're Edomites. Think they're actually white people, man. Yeah. They actually think Mexicans too. They think they're oh, yeah, a yeah, different yeah, breed yeah. of white people. Oh, yeah. Man, you know. We had a video on that. Allah, Allah, Allah. Allah. Yeah. Like, like, okay. like, like, like they're a whole. Like, like uh, what race are you? He sound Hispanic. He said Hispanic is a culture. Culture. So either you white, black, or uh, Asian, whatever. They say I'm white. White, yeah, yeah. Like, like they're they ain't own. gonna give that up, bro. They wanna be white, man. Yeah. You know? They, they'll say that, yeah, they, they descend from the conquistadors. Right. Con yep, Spanish. Even, Edomites. even if they, those some those of them, Edomites. yeah. They, a lot of those conquistadors, too, a lot of those was Jake. Yeah, yeah. It was, Esau was just the one running shit. Yeah. If you, right. you want to go get something done, you don't right. get a band of jolly Edomites together to go get it done. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to get some Israelites, man. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. He, that was, was, he, he think was on Christopher Columbus's boat. That's what I was about to mention. Because he had slaves and everything on his boat. They're seen in, um, he had a Hebrew interpreter on his boat. That's right. Had to. He caught yeah. where he was going. You know? Going after the natives. And, you know, I find out that Christopher Columbus, before he came to America, he went to Iceland. Damn, what? Iceland. No wonder they was about to kill his ass. And the Icelandic sagas tell you 
the, the Vikings Iceland. came to America. Ooh. So that tells you he knew where he was going. Yeah, yeah. He knew oh, America. Yeah. If he went to Iceland. Yeah, they was, he probably was, man, they wanted to kill his ass on that boat, man. It's like, we yeah. out, you know. And he's like, listen, calm down. <laughs> Look, we almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was actually a, a revolt that got started yep. on that shit, man. And as I heard him, and he said, just hold up. Look, here's the map. Look, it's right here. We're mm -hmm. almost there. Them popping each other on that boat, man, wasn't comforting enough. <laughs> yeah, you know they was fucking each other. Oh, hell yeah, that's common. They that's, still that's, do that. Man, that's all kind of love. That's when I was in the shit. Marine. When I was in the Ooh. Marines. <laughs> hey, man. Popping each other. They can't just bring a couple that's fucking just... hoes with them. You know, a couple concubines, which a bitch is happy obliged to be a hoe. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. You know? Those motherfuckers was, ugh, that's some foul shit, man. When I was in the Marines, we made fun of the Navy because that was the thing. They was on that ship all... By the, all these months fucking each other. Submarines and shit? Yeah, submarines. And they be under that shit for months. You ain't gonna get me in no those submarines. <laughs> Hell no. Remember the submarine that we wasn't going downtown? I didn't want to go on it, man. Nah, I ain't not. And it's just sitting there for tourist attraction to go, go through it and shit. But I see all them people going through it, man. I, I'm not getting in that motherfucker with the people, man. Looks like a tight fit. Shit, the fucking <laughs> aircraft carry we went on was gigantic. Oof, it was like man. a fucking. It took us forever to go through that bitch, didn't it? It, it was took like us forever. Five hundred feet long. A city, a city. Man, we when yeah. we got up top where the, where the planes be at, where they take off at, we walk in that bitch, man. Oh, it was long, city. man. It was a long walk, man. It's probably and like a five-minute walk all the way planes. from. Yeah, it was a minute. I used to have all kind of pictures of it. I know the picture. That's that, that, uh, that submarine now. Yeah, that's it. Very, you gotta be retarded. There's a lunchbox in there. Yeah. Yeah, no motherfuckers be proud, man, to be a cup captain of a submarine or commander or whatever the fuck you want to be. They be in that motherfucker like this. I'm close to focus. I can't yeah. fuck with that. You know the ones, there are people that actually, that's just what they want to do. Get on that submarine, man. Just like a nigga going to jail, man. He know he go to jail, he's gonna get the same comforts in, in, in prison that he's gonna get on the street. I can get my head, I can fuck this bitch nigga the ass. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're, they're comfortable going to prison because they ain't living without it. Yeah, they can get drugs in prison, you know? They be very content. Yeah, be real content, real content. <laughs> I got that scripture he's looking the, for. Okay. The, but the CO, the motherfucking COs be like, we see you later, man. We see you. Because mm -hmm. they know they're coming back. Yep. We see you, man. Yeah, they know. The, uh, uh, but I say the officers in the military are the biggest faggots of them all. It's Edomites. Yeah, they're all Edomites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You very rarely, you're going to see an Israelite officer. They they, they get vetted. <laughs> they do. I get, now that I know the spirit, when I was in the Marines and I looked back and I... All the officers were all Edomites. Wow. And even even the black ones were. Edomites. Tears. Yeah, tears. tears. Just foul spirits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you wasn't allowed to hang out with them. They called it fraternization. If you got caught drinking and hanging out with the officer, you both would get court martial. What was Colin Powell? Anybody know the branch of military he was in? He's an army. Colin Powell? Yeah. Tear. <laughs> He's Colin big, Powell. He's a big fan. Yeah. Colin Listen Powell. Listen to that motherfucker Colin. talk, yeah. man. It's amazing. Man. Right. Colin. And you know how I know he'll tear man. because yeah, he, um, a, he got many people fired from their jobs from him going in. Well, they they should should have known better in the first fucking place. Being being rude to the man when he just doing his job. Yeah. Coming right. restaurant. You don't you don't be rude to no man like that just to be rude. Plus he a black man, you know. And made sure all, my, all kind of people lost their jobs because of him, man. What about your girl? Uh, Personally, I wouldn't give a fuck. What about, what, what about your girl, Condoleezza? Oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't you. know. <laughs> got what y'all think? <laughs> I don't know. Plus, her sister, too. I'm just throwing it out there. Y'all seen her sister? She got a sister in politics, too. Condoleezza yes. got to be that bitch. Condoleezza, right. Because he's an evil. God! Oh, what's up? Condoleezza. <laughs> what kind of fucking name is that? Condoleezza. Yeah, that's a terror. That's a terror, too. That bitch got a big ass gap between her teeth. Yeah, yeah. She, her gap between her teeth is so big, she got to use rope for dental floss. I don't want to know. Condoleezza Rock. I forgot all about Condoleezza Rock. What happened to her? Retired? Yeah. Now her sister rocking shit. For real? And her sister look evil as fuck. Nah, she don't look good. I've never seen nah, her. Nah, nah. She got a body, though. Condoleezza had a body, didn't she? Wearing them tight ass skirts. She's gonna buy her Ooh, wee. Hey, here we go. I'm about to bust this scripture out. First Timothy 104. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, 
which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith so do <coughs> so yeah that's back up the scripture you just read earlier about people are, how you know you're an Israelite you from Israel you got genealogies <laughs> plus uh, a lot of them uh, uh, Seminole Indians they, yeah. uh, cause like back in the day with the slaves they run away they used to go to the Seminole Indians to refuge and you got some brothers like girl, tall, hard. Yeah, 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 some yeah, Seminole yeah, Indians yeah, they look yeah, I thought yeah, I thought they was uh, Judah but black. Black. they look just the like the slaves that did escape they went to the Native American the Indian so called tribes I heard even got some, uh, took them in Seminoles look like white people yeah. just there you go there Chance. Um, there's, some, there's some crazy history to that Seminole shit that's some history they don't want they don't want getting out there yeah so because it's fucked up what they did to yeah them. it's fucked up what they did to them man Trail of tears it's hard to find any good information about that you know yeah. and there was another indian uh, uh latino tribe nation that was formed in early american history was it the comanches uh what was that i had to look that history up man they had their own nation there for a while i forget what it was called yeah, but man, so shit, this, this records of motherfucking Native Americans putting Judites in uh, the Judah in uh, slavery, man. Yeah, yeah, Native Americans. That the scriptures say that man would. Uh, that's in Micah. Vicious, I get it. Vicious, man. Yeah, because people are. Vicious, the people man. say only Esau or the, the other nations put people in slavery because yep. uh, Joseph was put into slavery by his brothers, sure by the original patriarchs themselves. Yeah, so right to the Egyptians. Right, right, so straight sold his ass into slavery. It was okay, his own right, brother. Was it for envy? Yeah, for envy, because he was the one, his father, because he, because he had, yeah, it was Jacob's favorite. Mm -hmm. He had the dream where he, that he was uh, in charge of them all, right, right. and he was greater than all of them. Yeah, and Judah was the only one that had compassion on him. But he didn't say shit anyway. Yeah, he still yeah, didn't say shit. Yeah. So you make him just as guilty all. not saying shit as the motherfuckers that yep. just say, fuck it, do it, do it. Yep. You're just as guilty, man. It's funny too, though, how they all went to slavery after Joseph died. <laughs> when you think about it, you know what I mean? Right. I'm all locked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, damn, that's painful than sin. Yeah. You know? yeah, that, that was, most high don't let nothing get away, man. Nope. Bad as hell, man. You can't do shit. You can't do shit wrong. There's always angels there to correct your ass. <laughs> most high, bad boy. I think that's Micah 7 or 1 eh? That's power to fear. That's one thing we learned coming to yeah, this truth. Because, we learned to fear uh, the Lord. Yeah, because when he was alive, uh, Israel, they was uh, up in there eating. <laughs> truth. No. For real. That, that is crazy, though, you think about it. Yeah, because somebody died, you know, a few years down the line, that new Pharaoh came up in there. was like, new Pharaoh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, oh, that's a done deal now. Yeah, the yeah. one. He said he knew not Joseph. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> Israel got no favors from him. He was waiting for Joseph to die. Probably was. Probably you know, was. he was yeah. sitting there waiting. Yeah. Yeah. And Joseph lived a long life, too. Hey, I got this scripture. Uh, Micah 7 and 1. Woe is me, for I am as when they have gathered the summer fruits, as the grape gleanings of the vintage, there is no cluster to eat. My soul desired the first ripe fruit. The good man is perished out of the earth. Look, that's what we're saying, right? We just, we bitching about the good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. Oh, man. They all lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man, his brother, with a net. Damn. Damn. This is talking about Israel. It's a vicious people, man. So that, vicious people. That they may do evil with both hands earnestly, the prince asketh and the judge asketh for a reward. And the great man, he uttereth his mischievous desire, so they wrap it up. <laughs> oh, look, the best of them is as a briar. And it's like a thorn. Some You get caught up in them bushes, you're getting stuck and shit. That's the best of them. It's just, a, you know, you get scrapes from the best of them. Woo. The best of them is the briar, the most upright, is sharper than a thorn head. Damn, the most upright. The most upright of the of the, the, so, the Right, a so-called righteous one of them. Yeah, <laughs> the best they got to offer. Right? <laughs> and it says, Damn! God! 
Uh, so that means don't, you can never trust your enemy. Like the scripture says. It says, the day of thy watchman and thy visitation cometh, now shall be their perplexity. Trust ye not in a friend, put not confidence in a guide, keep the doors of thy mouth from her that lieth in thy bosom. Oh, that's talking about your woman. Don't tell your woman shit. <laughs> don't, don't tell no woman that you keep them Keep them lies flowing to them. They just keep them lies flowing to them. <laughs> you don't tell a woman your business. <laughs> and you don't talk to another man's woman at all. Hell, that's, that's wicked. That's wicked. Wicked as shit. Because you see these fools, they, they don't know how to deal with women, man. But hey, check it out. That's, we, we, that's the season we in. Yep. How these motherfuckers love to talk to somebody else's wife, like with they the, love uh, that shit. the Christmas care over the door. Yeah. When you're walking through it. Oh, the mistletoe. Mistletoe, that's what I meant. Mistletoe. That you no know, you know, somebody's wife walk through or not, you're supposed to kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you walk through it at the same time or some shit, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, man. you're supposed to I kiss. I can't remember. No here. They don't kiss each other's wives. Yep, and, yep, yep. They and, walk around with one in their man. hand and. Uh, hey, check this out. Hey, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They coming through today. All right, the, what's the mistletoe made out of? Anybody know? The mistletoe. I, what, I, what plant? I, I, the holly, right? Boughs of holly. Boughs of holly. Deck the okay, holes with okay, boughs of okay. holly. La, la 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 la. That's where you got holly wood, because that's the, the the wood. The magic wand is made out of. It comes from the holly. Mm. They call that the holy wood, the holly wood. But don't you know? Also, know I got the. Uh, fuck, man. What's that? What's the most famous? Uh, uh, What's that fucking... Spit it out. Uh, the, there's this farmer's almanac, like a farmer's almanac type deal. Cole Pepper. You ever heard of Cole Pepper? I don't think so. It's like a farmer's know. almanac or right, something. Right, right, But he was just super famous. He knew everything about uh, agriculture. He, it's a, I got this book. It's like the Cole Peppers. I forget exactly. It's one of the best ones you can get. It tells you about all the different herbs and the names of the herbs. And each herb has its own, uh, is associated with a zodiac symbol. Like, according to Esau, you know, well, each herb is associated with a different zodiac symbol. But the holly is associated with a Capricorn in the planet Saturn, which is why they use it during Christmas, because in the ancient world, Christmas was called Saturnalia. And that's why they use that holly. That goes back to the, you know, to the Saturnalia. What was it under the Greeks, though? Greeks had a name, too. Uh, I can't remember, but anyway, uh, all these crazy symbols and shit. That's crazy, yep. man. It's bugged out. Especially the Christmas tree is uh, uh Tammuz penis. Tammuz Nimrod's penis. Nimrod is or Tammuz penis. Well, that's the same guy. Right. He's Phallic a, symbols. Tamu nu Tom nu nu nu's. That's what happens when you try to say some heathen words. <laughs> Ta Tammuz and Os uh Nimrod. It's the same thing as uh Horus and Osiris. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, Os yeah, yeah. Horus is the son of Osiris. Yep. Everybody go put a dick up in their tree. Yeah, in their dick. Everybody. Everybody. I ain't gonna say tree. I'm gonna say dick. That's what it is. It's a dick. dick. It's a dick. And that's what you might as well motherfucker got a tie, a, tie, a tie on. Call him a dickhead. A dickhead. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, that's a dick hanger for your a neck. Dickhead. That dickhead. You ain't gonna see me wearing no tie. Dick. I ain't wearing no neck tie. I ain't wearing no bow tie. <laughs> you no, might as well shit. just put a noose around. The bow tie look like balls. Yeah, it does. Yeah. You know? See the nation of Islam looking retarded as hell wearing bow ties. Balls. Yeah, that shit look, that shit look ridiculous. Right. That that shit stupid. It's unacceptable. Like, it looks stupid. Clowns, clowns, man. Mm -hmm. Edomites, man. Edomites, man. Edomites, man. What's up, Esau? Esau, you know. Oh, look at Jake. Oh, hand holding hands. Jake in the back. The wicked will not be unpunished. That's why you get, the, the Jake gonna die right along with like when you get walk around with him. It's like when you get on the coat of us. Jake's always in the back. Yeah, right. They, they, the they, they made a big deal over Rosa Parks. Now right. everybody's in the back. Go straight to the back. <laughs> no problem. But they don't even think about it. They go straight to the back. Right, right. Hey, that's what I do. I get on the bus. I go straight to the back. Uh, I always sit in the back because I don't want nobody throwing shit at me from behind. Me. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to yeah, say yeah, I want to yeah, be yeah, yeah. up in the corner. Yeah. Where yeah. nobody can get you to me. Watch everybody. Yeah, I want to. I want to see everything. For real, I stand up sometimes. I don't like having. Uh, yeah, you got that. Next when the bus get crowded, it's oh, crazy. Definitely try to do that. I don't want to sit been, next to you. Especially a stinky party. motherfucker sit next yeah. to you. Yeah. But sometimes you get lucky. Some fine ass woman to sit next to you. 
Oh, yeah. like, what's up, Sit on your lap when there ain't no yeah. seat. What's your thing, yeah. huh? She'd be like, BX? you ain't got no car. Yeah, <laughs> my car in the shop, bitch. <laughs> my car in the shop, bitch. And that bitch on, yeah, that bitch yeah, on that's the old one. My car's in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Every time I said that one. <laughs> my car's in the shop. Right. Shit. Bitch. You know, bitches use that shit too. You know, girls, I don't. They, well, my car's in the shop. Bitch, you know you ain't got no car. They do got it going on, these bitches. They do, though. They got it. This is their kingdom. Got all the money for them, too. They queened them, yeah. They get the income tax, they just go buy a cash car, man. The car be blown up by the summertime, but they still go buy them a cash car, man. I don't know what it is. No, that's right. That's right. Missiles have to come. motherfucking weed. Them missiles is getting fueled up right now while they fooling. Well, Russia, they polishing them, they getting them, waxing them, rubbing them, they, they cleaning them up, yeah. making sure they look good. Putting their initials on them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they do. They're, too, being, they're, they're being real sarcastic with yeah. those missiles. You know? I, can't wait, I wouldn't doubt they put a scripture on the missile. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, if they knew one. If, yeah, if, a, if a Jake was having to be around them. Yeah, you know, he put a scripture on that yeah. missile. Because there are Jakes, ain't nothing but Jakes in that uh, Russian army, man. That's some bad dudes. And, uh, they a lot. They a lot better trained in the United States military. That's why the United States is now it's official. Women can be in the infantry. <laughs> what kind of madness is that? Could you imagine back in ancient Sparta, they got some women on the line? Like, hold your shield up, bitch. Hold it. <laughs> Man, your whole line will get destroyed. No, an arrow come get snicked. Yeah. Two arrows come through. And the shield 30 pounds? Yeah, shield, one shield weighs 30 pounds. That's crazy. Especially when hold you got, that motherfucker when you got right like, yeah, yeah, I heard they was heavier, though, man. Especially well, they, they might like have been. A thousand, like a, a crowd of a thousand people coming at you at full speed. You got to do that. that. You, you got to hold up. it. You yeah. got to brace up. Yeah. Yeah. And a battle, <laughs> lasts for, uh, a battle lasts for a bit, <laughs> too. Don't plow right through those things. The dudes can barely do it. That's what I'm saying. Like... You know what I mean? Go plow right through. This is a joke, man. I mean, it's like common goddamn sense. Women do not belong on a fucking battlefield. That's right. Look at the videos on YouTube with ISIS women fighting over there in Syria and Iraq, man. But they don't go into the battle. They all no, they, just they shoot like snipers. Snipers. And shit. I mean, yeah. you know, actually, women are pretty good. They can be good marksmen. Yeah, they can be good. Marksmen. But you know why though? Because their breasts. They gives uh when they put the. The rifle right here in their breast, the breast helps stabilize the weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, all she can do is shoot and be stationary, though. She, yeah. she kept jumping walls, climbing mountains, fucking running a mile with the yeah, motherfucker yeah, you know on her saying. shoulder. And what's some what's some bags? Some wags have to weigh something that's out there in the back. The, the backpack? You right. You right. got your whole life in that motherfucker. How much a bitch yeah. weigh, man? You carry you the motherfucker. I don't know. I used to skip mine. I used to leave all kind of shit at home. Okay, like, imagine you in battle, though. What you got to carry in it. Imagine you in battle, though. What you got to carry in it, though. 50 pounds minimum. God. At least 50 minimum. They get a lot heavier than that. Yeah, yeah. Bad that, motherfuckers carry some what, shit. When we see them bitches carry ammo cans for a machine gun. Mm. When, when you carry ammo. a machine, you got to have at least, at least minimum three cans. That's some heavy motherfuckers. It's lit. <laughs> yeah, that's, lead. that's some heavy That's where shit. the legway coming from, the lead bullets. Ammo. Like, you do not want to be the ammo man. Yeah, yeah. You, so you definitely don't want to be the ammo ho. Woo, ammo ho. She be dragging ho. that shit. You're right, right. <laughs> well, we're left behind. Those motherfuckers going over the hill miles down there. Yeah, she can she be down back there. <laughs> she she can be passed out. You're right, on the phone crying, Mom, I'm fucked up. Everybody be dead by the time. Yeah, she, yeah, by the time like, the ammo get there. She be dead and the motherfuckers, she's Getting ammo too would be right. good shit. You know, it, it, just, it just doesn't doesn't make no goddamn sense. Women in the special forces or like Green Berets or some shit said, nope, these bitches are not part of us. Yep. They oh, can't, yeah. they can't, none of them can um, make it through the training. It. Yeah, right, right. Even the, yeah, the Marine Corps said the special that too. forces, the special forces, whatever yep. they are. The SEALs, the uh, right, right, the right. Rangers. It's like, nope, nope, Marine nope, Corps nope, reconnaissance. Nope, <laughs> nope. And you know they ain't going to allow it no matter what, You man. can't because that that's compromises your whole fucking mission. That's right, mission. that's right, that's right. Because well, dude made sense, though. He was like, if I get shot out there, is this woman going to be able to carry me out, the, out of danger? Really? You know? That, he was making a point, man. But that's what happens. That's the, the main thing that does happen. Your homie gets shot. 
Somebody got to carry his ass. You ain't going to leave him out there to die. And a man can do it. Yeah. Even a small, weak man can do it. You yeah. know? Fire can carry. You, 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 you know? Right, right. Yeah, the, 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 but the a weak, woman? The weakest dude out here could do a fireman's carry. That's right. On a 200-pound on a motherfucker. The weakest motherfucker. We practiced yep. that shit in jujitsu. I had to carry like a 240-pound dude. Right, right, right. And imagine, though, it's like a weaker dude with adrenaline flowing. It's easy. Right, I, right. You know? I, I remember back when I wrestled in high school. We had to do fireman's carries running up and down steps. Mm -hmm. yeah, you see a woman do that? Yeah, sure did. Yeah, yeah. We used to do it on hills, though. Yeah, yeah, we, we, the, the steps we did was in the bleachers in the football field. You know, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we did. Yeah. That's some brutal shit right we, there, man. We got punished one day for fucking up. And we had to run that bitch for like 30 minutes, man. The coach was just mad as fuck at us, man. Just, we had to run. We had to literally go up and down, up and down for like 30 fucking you know minutes, what? man. Ooh, that shit's good for you. Yeah, yeah. And they got, well, some of us, it was cool because we was already in shape. They, yeah. have, they really got, really will have these bitches on the front line. They, they're going to have them all steroid up. They're going to have to do help something. Still ain't going to help none, though. Because their hips are designed different. Still ain't going to help none. Right. It's no. only going to help none. It's only going to make you, know, you in, that, in, a, in, in, in combat, your heart, your shit. pressure goes up. Make their PMS and worse. pass the fuck out, man, because <laughs> the bodies ain't equipped to take they don't that, have that stress. They don't have testosterone. Right, they can't take that stress, man. Because we got to add that testosterone that kicks in and supercharges. Damn right, damn right. Yep, that's right. And they got estrogen. That's like that's the right. opposite of testosterone. Right. Our bodies is built for stress, man. It's built for I mean, it, women can withstand pain, but they can't. That's just a joke, man. They can't they can't operate in a in a hostile environment. They can't think clear. Right. Because you know, they can't think clear. Hey, they've been studies on that too, how men think more on a primitive level mm -hmm. and we're able to make those fast decisions quicker. Right, right. Back in the day, like the early late eighties, early nineties when the gang shit was really popping off. Mm -hmm. Man, I got caught up into some shit with gangs is I wouldn't even you know, just being around, walking through and shit and gangs just started battling. Motherfuckers got car jacks swinging it at me. I seen some crazy shit, man. Yeah, back in the nineties. But you got to keep your cool, man. And just get up out of that yeah, shit, man. Yeah, yeah. A woman won't. She'll freak out. Yeah, freak the fuck out. She'll freak out. Just sit there in a the, in the, in the fetal position. Yeah, yeah. Every weekend, everybody, all the niggas in Columbus, the gangs, just meet at the bowling alley or the skating ring, <laughs> and that's where everybody knew they were going to. Stupid, yeah, stupid, yeah. When, man. When just stupid. A, when you're in combat, you stupid. got stupid. Like Michael Jackson thriller. You you got to make okay. split second decisions. Yeah, you I mean, if you you hesitate just one little bit, you can't even think. You just got to just do it. Like Nike said. What was that Michael Jackson video 